Hello, you're welcome. How to solve for x in this nice algebra equation from here? What we have here, which is root 10 minus 3, we can equally write this as root 10 minus 3 multiplied by root 10 plus 3 then divided by root 10 plus 3 so this is same thing as this because here when root 10 plus 3 cancels out we are still left with root 10 minus 3 then we can write this in another way and expand this bracket from perfect square when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b so here this can be written as a square minus b square so when we write this by that so we have root 10 square now then minus 3 square then divided by here we have root 10 plus 3 then here square we cancel the square roots then we have 10 then minus 3 square here is 3 times 3 which is 9 then over root 10 plus 3 then from here 10 minus 9 that's 1 it implies that we can equally write root 10 minus 3 as 1 over root 10 plus 3 then from what is given here instead of writing root 10 minus 3 here we can write it as 1 over root 10 plus 3 that is we now have square root of 10 plus 3 all is to power x now 10 plus 1 over root 10 plus 3 or raised to power x is now equals to 38 then from here this x we have x1 and this and 1 raised to power x is still going to give us 1 so here we can then say we have root 10 plus 3 or raised to power x then plus here we have 1 over root 10 plus 3 then this raised to power x equals to 38 on this side then now we have root 10 plus 3 or raised to power x common so let a letter u be equals to root 10 plus 3 or raised to power x then this equation now can be written as u plus 1 over u then equal to 38 then from here we can clear this fraction here and multiply through by u when we multiply here by through by u here we give us u square then plus u we cancel u here we have 1 then equals to 38 u on this side then 38 u to this side and we are going to form a quadratic equation so we have u square minus 38 u plus 1 now equals to 0 from here then using the formula u equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a and from here a is 1 b is minus 38 then c from here is 1 then this formula then becomes u equals to minus minus 38 plus or minus square root of minus 38 all square then minus 4 times 1 times 1 then over 2 times 1 then when we simplify from here we have u now 
equal to here give us 38 then plus or minus here we have minus 38 square and plus 1444 then minus 4 from here then divided by 2 from here and this gives us u equals to 38 plus or minus here we have square root of 1440 then over 2 from here then this also can be written as u equals to 38 plus or minus square root of here we can separate it as 144 multiplied by 10 then over 2 from here then here we have u equals to 38 plus or minus root 144 here when we separate that that's 12 then 10 to 10 over 2 and here we can write this as u equals to 38 over 2 plus or minus 12 root 10 over 2 and here this gives us u equals to here we have 19 plus or minus 6 root 10 so we have two possible values of u here first one we have u equals to 19 plus 6 root 10 and also we have u equals to 19 minus 6 root 10 and let's recall that we let u equals to root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x then here yeah, it implies that we have root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x now equals to on this side we have 19 plus 6 root 10 then what we have here let's recall when we have a square plus b square plus 2ab this can simply be written as a plus b or square then what we have on this side here let's write it in this format then here we have root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x now equals to here we can write 19 as 10 plus 9 then plus here we can write this as 2 times 3 then 10 to 10 and also here this can be written as 10 we can write this as root 10 square as this square cancels this square we still have 10 then plus here 9 can be written as 3 square this is 3 times 3 which will be 9 then plus 2 times 3 times root 10 then what we have here is in form of this we are here now is root 10 then b is 3 so it implies that this can be written as root 10 plus 3 then all square so which is equals to what we have here which is root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x then when we compare both sides here we discover we have same base then we can equate the power then from here x equals to 2 then also on the other side here we also have u equals to 19 minus here 6 root 10 then here we have u now which is root 10 plus 3 raised to power x now equals to 19 minus 6 root 10 then also from this side when we have something like a square plus b square minus 2ab this 
can simply be written as a minus b all square. So when we apply this here, then what we have here which is written plus 3 raised to power of x is now equals to also from here 19 that's 10 plus 9 then minus 6 and that can be written as 2 times 3 then root 10 and uh, here this 10 is also root 10 square then 9 is also 3 square then minus 2 times 3 then root 10 so when we compare this with this here root 10 is having as a and 3 is having as b so here we can easily write this as root 10 minus 3 here then all square so which implies what we have here which is root 10 plus 3 all is to power x now equals to this but recall that from what we have root 10 minus 3 we wrote this as 1 over root 10 plus 3 so which is also same thing as root 10 plus 3 raised to power minus 1 so here root 10 minus 3 we can write it as root 10 plus 3 raised to power minus 1 it implies here that we have root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x now now equals to here we have root 10 plus 3 raised to power minus 1 then we have raised to power 2 and since this power we multiply on the law of indices then we have root 10 plus 3 all raised to power x we now be equals to root 10 plus 3 all raised to power minus 2 then now we have same base then we can see that the power equal which is x equals to minus 2 so therefore we have the second solution to this problem as x equals to minus 2 so these are the solutions to this problem s equals to 2 and s equals to minus 2 thank you for watching don't forget to say, subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on see you next class and bye for now.